grid mode. AutoCAD has many different drawing aids that we can increase our accuracy and productivity and most of them are on our status bar down here in the bottom. You can think of the status bar as our speedometer and we can keep things visible at all times. The first thing we're going to take a look at is the grid mode. This grid mode looks like graph paper. So we can turn this graph paper on or off. So we can simply click on it and the graph paper turns off. We click on it and the graph paper comes back on. Note that the graph paper does not print. It's just a virtual graph paper. We can also configure the settings for this grid uh, lines. If we right click on here, we get grid settings. We click on grid settings, it'll bring up the drafting settings into our grid and uh, our snap and grid tab. So over here is our grid. We can turn it on and off here if we like. Um, but we also want to set up uh, the spacing. By default, AutoCAD makes it a half inch or a half a unit. That's kind of an odd setting. I prefer to have it as one. Most beginning students prefer it as one because they think of each grid typically as one. We have a major line, in other words, wherever the thicker line is, is at every five units. Typically that's set to either five or ten. In our grid behavior, um, our adaptive grid is when it's checked on, is when we zoom out and the grid spacing gets so dense, um, AutoCAD then can take care of that and adjust the grid display so the grid is at a larger scale. Another one that down here says display grid beyond limits. So when we set our limits, you're wondering, yeah, can we can we draw outside of our limits? Well, yeah, you can, but with this, the grid goes outside the limits. If you turn this off, there will only be grid within the limits, the box that you're allowed, the virtual paper you're allowed to draw on. This is kind of handy when you start uh, learning how to draw. So uh, I would recommend that you might want to turn that off in the beginning. So, but I typically like to set these to an inch and then I can say OK. And now you can see then that each one of these is an inch. Okay, so when I come up here, this is a roughly 5,5. Five. Alright, so that's a whole lot more uh, easier to handle when it's one inch grids or one unit grids if um, we're working some other unit. So the grid mode, remember we turn it on and off here. You've got to get used to turning it off as your preference. And we right click on it to, to get our grid settings. And we're going to change our grid spacing here uh, and hit OK. So you're going to be able to need to change the grid on and off depending on if whatever you're drawing fits on a grid or not. If you don't need it, draw without a grid. So many times I don't even have a grid. But if you need graph paper, turn it on.